So I just went into OSA and I bought a new piece of wood and I put it in my tank and a couple days later, now there's mold all over it. Let's talk about that. So you go into the store and you decide that you want to put a really nice piece of driftwood in your tank. But then you get it home, you put it in, for one it floats, so now you got to put a rock on it. You put a rock on it, a couple days later, it's starting to look a little fuzzy. Weird. Next day, it's just covered in what looks like white mold. Well, this is completely normal. That stuff you're seeing is actually not mold. It's a type of biofilm and it's completely natural. It's actually just from the outer layer of the wood decomposing and a type of bacteria comes and starts to break it down that forms this big white fuzzy cloud of slime. So it goes from this to this and that's a completely normal process. You can see here, it looks disgusting, right? Your, your tank's brand new, looks beautiful, and now it just looks nasty. That's totally okay, totally normal. What you can do is you can get right in there and you can just remove it. So it comes right off. You just kind of brush it away and now it's all just floating around. Or you can take the wood out and you can scrub it in a separate container and put it back in. Now it's going to come back a few more times. Like I said, it's from the outer layer of the wood decomposing. So it doesn't happen overnight and it's gonna take some time and that is gonna keep kind of reoccurring until the process is over, which can go anywhere from a week, two weeks, three weeks, sometimes a little longer, but typically not much longer than a month. You could also, another way you could fix this is you could get a fish in there that likes to eat it. So pretty much any pleco species is gonna absolutely love it and chow down on it and it'll be gone overnight. Some other fish species like guppies, mollies, flatties, they're gonna also like this stuff too and they'll nibble on it as well. But most sucker mouth catfish are going to, to eat it. Another normal process of putting wood in your tank is also tannins. Uh, I think we've talked about this in other videos in the past, but while I'm talking about new wood, might as well mention, it may also stain your wood with a tannin coloration, which is just a brown hue to the water. Some woods are gonna cause it more than others. Certain woods like dragonwood are gonna make it more red than brown and some other woods are not gonna really do much at all. In this aquarium, you can't really tell because it's a lot of water volume. There's six tanks attached to this system, so you really can't tell that there's tannins. But if this was a standalone 65, you would definitely be able to tell that this wood is leaching tannins. Tannins, again, are totally a natural process. Think of tea. When you make tea, you put leaves in water and it makes your water turn into tea. So that's what's happening here. The wood is basically making tea water for your fish and it's absolutely healthy and good for your fish. Some people don't like the look of it. And if that's the case, you can easily grab some products like AquaClean that will pull that right out of the water within a few weeks. Or you could just do water changes and over time it will slowly get better and better. But for certain fish like betta fish, discus, a lot of South American cichlids really enjoy these tannins in the water and it's only going to benefit them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV with me, Salty Alley. And now you know if your wood gets fuzzy, it's totally normal. Keep it fresh, baby.